Now, gentlemen, please, ladies and gentlemen, this is your second event of the four-man knockout tournament. Six rounds, five minutes each round, one fall, one submission, or one kill to decide the winner. In the blue corner, from Brixton, the top guy, Steve Logan. And in the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, one of the most outstanding wrestlers in the world today, also a physical culturist, from Q in Surrey, Spencer Churchill. Spencer the Body Churchill versus Steve Logan. Six five minute rounds, one for the decide in this second semi final here at Bletchley. Round one. We go for round one, and easily identifiable here Churchill in his multicolored trunks versus Logan. Max Ward, the referee, the winner of this bout by the one necessary for one fall required goes into the final of this tournament here today versus Mike Marino Churchill, of course, he hasn't got a, a weight advantage, but uh, he has got that tremendous uh, physique of his. And if he doesn't allow Logan to deliver too many of his Iron Man forearm jabs, <laughs> I was just going to say like that, but of course that wasn't one. That was a legitimate clinch fist. know it with Logan especially as the carrot dangled in front of him is the final against Marino he would love to go up a weight and take on the mid heavyweight title hold. Logan to take that uh, finger into luck. Logan did. Logan looks to have the advantage from it at the moment. That fairly high backhand. One. 
One fall aside from uh, that was a little doubtful, but the referee is right there, happy with it. Logan now with 20 seconds to go. <laughs> oh, a handshake. Spencer Churchill was just trying to shake the hand, that's all. Final move there on the bell of uh, round one by Steve Logan. The handshake offered by Spencer Churchill immediately puts the whole crowd here, or practically anywhere else in a, in a wrestling hall, against him. And then he wonders why he's uh, a pretty unpopular wrestler. Now, the unfortunate thing is that if whoever wins this bout, this semi final, has got to go into the final immediately following this bout against Marino. Second away, round two. Round two. So if uh, Churchill or Logan, whichever it is that wins this one, they have to take on Marino with practically no break at all in the final after this bout. If a tournament is televised, this is always the snap, of course. Sure, grapple fans up and down the country wouldn't like us to hang around for five minutes while they get a breather. All straight finger jabs, yes. style wrestling hold at all there but it was uh, acting as a weakener bear hug now Churchill this is what Churchill must do the referee happy about that forearm actually hitting but awfully like a clenched fist there Heel of the hand, that's all right. <laughs> Logan's feet practically under the bottom rope. In fact, the referee here very nearly deciding to call the break. Spencer Churchill managing to keep him away at the moment with that gra gravity. And Logan clearing it, clearing himself at the backhammer counter. Top of his left, round two. Churchill. 
No good one like that too much. You shouldn't go into these finger interlocks with this Spencer Churchill. It's been called for twice, three times, and still Logan won't stand by. He's got a public warning for it. Referee issues his first public warning to Steve Logan. Logan quite used to public warnings, of course, but as long as in this tournament he doesn't get two more, he won't mind too much. Half a minute. Uh, just the position of those th Logan thumbs. He's going to try and cover them with his hair in a minute, I'll bet. Yes, they the hair going down to stop the referee spotting it. But he's only got a couple of seconds anyway. Returning to TWC for an exciting new series, it's Irish Whip Wrestling, Whiplash TV. With an all-new look, Irish Whip Wrestling will be providing frantic paced action and excitement that can't be seen anywhere else in Europe. Featuring SOS, Madman Manson, Vic Viper, Drew Galloway, George McFly, Pat, the UK Kid, and many more. IWW Whiplash TV, every Saturday at 10 p.m., only on TWC. What's the difference? This one's cheaper. Call Screw Fix Direct on 08000 68 78 88 for your free catalogue with a great range of top quality tools and parts at rock bottom prices. That's 08000 68 78 88. Call Screw Fix Direct now. You'll pay less and <laughs> save money. <laughs> the new Screw Fix Direct catalogue is out now. Call 08000 68 78 88 for your free copy. Do you know anything about this lot? Nah, I knew this here, apparently. With AXA PPP Healthcare, you can get access to treatment quickly. And since our plans are very flexible, there are many ways to save on your premiums. For up to three months free cover, just call 0800 14 66 76. Now, be life confident. Just in, homeowners who want to slash their monthly bills are being urged today to call Central Capital on 0808 132 3636, especially if they're self-employed, have CCJs or struggle to get finance. As one of the UK's largest loan brokers, they find the right deal so you can pay off bills like credit cards and loans with just one lower monthly sum. You could halve your current repayments. But let's ask Susie, our money editor. Are central capital as good as they sound? I think so, Chris. Many people can't get a loan if they have CCJs or are self-employed. Central capital give you a quote when you call and could give you a loan when others don't. It's not unusual to be three or four hundred pounds better off every month. They do all the legwork too, so you just focus on how to send your extra money. Chris? You do the paperwork. Oh, um... Thanks, Susie. Call Central Capital now on 0808 132 3636 and see if you could halve your monthly outgoings. When is a good deal not a good deal on mortgages? When the rate looks good, but getting the mortgage can be a nightmare. 
At DirectLine, you not only get a great deal on your mortgage, but if you're remortgaging, you could switch to us in just a few weeks. And for standard remortgages, we won't charge you legal and valuation fees. What's more, as a Direct Line mortgage customer, you'll also have the option of an extra 20% off your home insurance for two years. That's better. Call 0800 068 8064 or visit directline.com. Direct Line. A good deal better. One Pro Wrestling, every Friday at 9 p.m., only on TWC. Spencer Churchill from Q, 13 and a half stone, actually comes, born in uh, Shepherd's Bush, London. His uh, photograph, of course, has been many times on the front cover of the better-known physical culture magazines. He's competed in the Mr. Universe competition for the world's best-built uh, male on several occasions. Hit the headlines several years ago for rescuing a dog from a burning houseboat, because he lives on a houseboat himself. Second away, round three. So maybe people can remember a few years ago when uh, Spencer Churchill was in the press for that daring rescue of, the, of a little dog. Four rounds to go. And one fall decides it. Logan and the light tr plane trunks. He's back to us now. There's a Spencer, the body Churchill. Which one of these two men, light heavyweights, will go into the final against Mike Marino, the mid heavyweights? points with his thumbs and again the hair covering up I'm sure well, the main reason that Logan lets his hair grow this long is so that when he hangs forward over his opponent, the referee can't see what's happening underneath. But Churchill knows what happened underneath. Now the right hand, what is that right hand? doing now. Is that a punch? Is it a straight finger jab? He's pretending it's a straight finger jab, but the... And, uh, well, we saw that one all right. So we know what Churchill thinks the others were. Logan's right eye received that one. A couple of minutes to go. And Logan, a, a 
bit bad about that now. Comes in with his fist again, with the referee outside it. Churchill using this move a lot. Unorthodox it may be, but it certainly worried Logan's left arm enough. Unlikely, both these men unlikely to give way to a submission hold. They can possibly help it, being a one fall contest. Eight seconds. happy about uh, the treatment to his left hand he was going a little far back certainly complaining to the referee well now the question is he's got three rounds to go can he his experience which of course is way ahead of his opponents can he um, stand up to this tremendous power and physique of, of Spencer Churchill Spencer Churchill looking quite cool about everything at the moment Round four, three rounds to go. One fall decides it, and Logan finally has decided to start the vicious forearm jabs to the throat, which she's renowned. comes in with a forearm, low down, stomach, first, first double deed, very near the ropes indeed, but he managed to hold him, and Churchill out of this tournament there, and he smiles a little bit, unfortunately. Well, round four, ladies and gentlemen, with one four required, the winner, Steve Logan. Steve Logan, which brings Logan into the final, the next bout. Steve.